Hello everybody and welcome back to Quest for Creative. And today's episode, I am going to be attempting to catch an owl. Uh, now, I did a little research on getting an owl uh, because I've never seen an owl in this game before. I didn't know they existed in this game. And they do not spawn naturally. So that would explain why I haven't seen an owl. Uh, while I was twiddling my thumbs waiting for certain things to certain other things to happen, I just kind of preed up the area, you know, made it look nice, made it look kind of like a witch's forest kind of thing with a nice little clearing for our altar and circles. Uh, but I think maybe our circles are, are, are a little off. Um, I seem to remember seeing videos about people having different colored circles and there is something about, uh, Otherware chalk and infernal chalk and crap like that. But I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, however, I did manage to succeed in doing this. 3,732 mana. And what, in the last episode it was a little over 1,000? Something like that? Yeah, I, I more than tripled it. Um, that's because I was absolutely right when I said these witchery trees would increase the available mana more than like just bone mealing the area uh flowers just in flowers in general seem to increase more than grass uh these spanish moss that i have hanging everywhere they also seem to help considerably um where'd the cow go i have no idea if mobs help with it but there was a cow hanging around um i don't know where he went but that's okay. Um, I got a great picture of him. Um, it's on my G Plus account. Uh, seriously, I come flying over this tree, and he's st sitting right there on the altar. It's like, holy crap, he's looking for a freaking... <laughs> it's like, we got our first volunteer for a ritual. Um, but yeah, hey, that's the kind of fun you guys miss when you don't follow me on G Plus. I actually do post things other than just my videos on there, uh, though I do admit I post a lot of my videos on there, I tend only to post things when I actually have something to say. But, like I said, today we are going to be getting, uh, trying to get an owl, and from what I can see, it's an actually quite complex kind of thing. Uh, the first thing I need to do is get uh, one of these guys, these mutating sprig. Now, you get them by using this Mutandus Extremis, uh, which is actually easy to make, but the Mutandus is not. Uh, but conveniently, I have a whole bunch of mandrakes. Uh, here, I'll show you. I, I cheated. Of course I cheated. When, when do I not cheat? Um, so I have, let's see, Mandrake. So I got a safari net with a mandrake, and you can guess what I did. I just basically threw the mandrake safari net in that spawner, and then just let it spawn a whole bunch of mandrakes, and the grinder killed them, and I got a whole bunch of mandrake root. So that makes life easy. I tried to do it with ghasts, as you saw, but apparently I'm mistaken. I thought you needed a 5x5x5 five by five by five block area for ghasts to spawn, but they refused to spawn in there. Um... And it's like 7 by 8 by 6 space or something like that. But they don't spawn. Um, so anyways, we do need a muta mutating sprig first. Because like I said, there's a whole bunch of steps to get an owl. Um, but uh, you get a, the, 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 what is that thing called? This guy, the ent twig. You get the ent twig from killing ents. Now, I'm not going to be killing Treebeard, and as far as I can tell, I cannot spawn a second Ent while the first Ent is here. Um, I might be able to do it if I, like, run off to where... Uh, no, 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 this is... It. You know what? I have no idea if it's physically possible to spawn two Ents at once, so... Um, I'm just pretty much going to qualify it as failed. But I do have two Ent Twigs already from when I was screwing around before, and I made some Mutandus Extremis already, so we can just do this. And I got my Mutating Sprig. Yay! And I don't know if it's true, 
Um, but from what I can see, uh, I mean, I got a mutating sprig right there and then this mystic branch, however you make that. No idea. I click on it, nothing happens. Um, but it looks like you only need two ent twigs. So I don't think I'm going to have to be killing um, Treebeard anytime soon. At least hopefully. Uh, okay, so I need the mutating sprig for something special. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, so I need to make things, which is fairly interesting how you make these things. You basically have to do, well, witchery to make things, and that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of chests. I have a bunch of bone meal, which is what I need. Um... Shears might actually be really useful in doing this, in being more accurate with this. Because I need a whole bunch of these grass. But luckily, I mean, it's just this simple to get grass. And other things. I don't need you to go away. <laughs> um... Actually, that should be just enough grass. That should be the exact amount of grass I need. And then I need a water bucket. Woo! Water bucket. And, okay, so I, for, bleh, I need four grass, a water bucket, and a chest. And then you set up a little platform where you dig out the center too deep. And then you dig out four blocks around it like that now grass won't plant like the the these grass right here won't plant unless you have grass blocks so i gotta wait until these things grow but i can put the water down at least and crap i need to put a chest over the water so like that pop that again and i still have to wait for the grass to grow <sighs> there it goes. Okay, so now that we have grass blocks everywhere, I take this grass... Put one on each side, Boop. and then use this mutating mutating sprig on the chest. Oh, and I get a bunch of them. Awesome, so I only had to do that once. And then we get these grasper plants. Now, can I punch them? Yes, I can. Pop. Pop. All righty, and it's dark now, so let's go to sleep. I need four of these grasper plants, which is why I thought I needed uh, 16 grass. Because I figured it'd be four to one, but apparently not. But I do need four of these grasper plants, so we'll, you know, have fun with that. Then what I need to do um, is something a little bit more complex. What I need to do, uh, let's pull up that page. I'm still on the wiki. Uh, I need Rowan sapling, no, alder saplings, and spider webs. Now, I don't have any spider webs. Uh, I do have alder saplings tucked away somewhere over here. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere, and since those pipes don't work, um, it's hard for me to find things. This is actually why I... Oh, nope, there they are. Those are hawthorn saplings. That means alder saplings is right here, so I need... Actually, I need a bunch of those. As far as I can tell, I need a bunch of those. Um... So I got the older saplings, and then I need a spider web. Now, I don't have spider webs, nor do I have a silk touch book to put on shears to go hunting for spider webs. However, as with a lot of things that you can do in mod packs, if I type in the web, and we can see cobweb here, if I click on it, we can see that I can make cobweb with a spinning wheel. Now, a spinning wheel is another witchery thing. Spin. And it's actually relatively easy to make. I mean, you need one of these tune stones, but I got a bunch of those. A couple of 
plank blocks or apparently lava. Did that say a lava block? Hang on. I want to see that again. There it was. That says, come on, show me, show me, show me. Redwood. Hellbark. Wow. There's so many different kinds of woods that I didn't even realize. Man, it's still looping. Hopseed? What the hell is hopseed? Oak, hawthorn, eucalypt eucalyptus. Yeesh. It just keeps going and going and going. There it is. Well, I have no idea what that actually said. I'm going to have to go through the video if I remember and actually pause it there so I can actually see it. Uh, that is the benefit of recording. I can actually, I can do that. Now I lost train of my thought. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to... Yeah, we were making a spinning wheel. So, uh, yeah, item frames, a stick, and wool. And you make a spinning wheel. And apparently the spinning wheel needs the altar as well. Because when I looked at it the first time, there was one of those uh, circle slash things here. And it went away, like, instantly. Uh, so I would assume that means it needs altar power as well. But, as you can see, I have cobweb because I just threw a stack of string in there. Thanks to having all that cotton... I have all the string that I could ever need. Um, so then what we do, we put our cobweb here. Pop. Uh, I have to do something about that problem. The problem is that, well, one, I need to put these alder saplings around here the whole way, and I don't want them to grow. So that's problem number one which I should be able to fix by doing this, in theory. Just basically convince it to convince them to not grow at all. And problem number two is I have to put a zombie in there. Uh, I have to trap a zombie in uh, the cobweb there. Whee! Uh, yeah, so let's see. Alder saplings. Alder saplings. Put down two, three, four alder saplings. And then I need a zombie, which I have prepared earlier. Actually got four of these. One, two, three, four zombie, Four zombies. And let's see if this bastard catches on fire. Hopefully not, but if he does, I'll just put the mutating sprig there. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Okay, so that answers that question. It does not work with baby zombies. Alrighty. Um, so baby zombies don't work. That's another baby zombie. You bastards. Yeah, it does not work with baby zombies. Alrighty, well. I had two baby zombies, and I have two adult zombies. Wait, do I have to wait till it sinks the entire way? Because it's still not working. Well, let's wait until this guy sinks the entire way. No, back. Back, you bastard. No, get in there. Thank you. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I had to do it on the cobweb itself. Okay. Uh, but then I get these critter snares, which I apparently can punch. I don't have to use, like, shears or anything special. Uh, but I need these critter, uh, snares for another thing that I have to do, which I need an enclosed environment to do. Uh, where would be a good enclosed environment? I don't think I have a good enclosed environment. I think I'm going to have to make one, um, which ought to be entertaining to say the least. But I have a spare zombie for later. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to dig out a little area right here to do that, and I will be right back. Well, that was easy to make. All I needed was just a little tiny area um, because what I need to do... Oh, I probably need dirt there. So let's put some dirt down, put our critter snare on top of that, and then what I need to do is figure out how to get a bat in the critter snare. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure exactly how it does that, but, uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure how this does this, so we're going to find out the hard way. Uh, so the bat's out. Oh, it's in the critter snare, and if I punch it, awesome, it is that simple. I, I was hoping it would be that simple. All right, so basically what happens is we need four bats. Now, I had caught a whole bunch of bats before. Come on, just get in the critter snare. Get in the critter snare. Get in the critter snare. Thank you. I caught a whole bunch of bats before. Oh, they stack too. Ha! <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, and, I mean, you see what I'm doing. I'm just releasing them in this tiny, tiny area. And waiting until they go into the critter snare. That was a terrible, terrible noise, you poor little bat. <laughs> Uh, but it's all for a good cause. Boop. Okay, so now we got our four bats. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this is going to be interesting. Um, what do I need to do to do this? This is going to be a fun one. I have the graspers. I have the critter snares. I need spider webs, more water. Uh, which I guess technically, I mean, we're right here, so we may as well just use this. Uh, where is my shovel? Let's just clear this mess out a bit. Boop, boop. More rituals and stuff like this. Boop. That I didn't want to do. This My shovel's a little too fast for its own good. All right, so we need a platform like this. Uh, I need to put another spider or another cobweb down there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I also had a thought. I don't want to do this out in the open. So same basic setup as outside, just inside an enclosed environment. I need more stuff than I have on me at the moment. <laughs> Crap. Um, what I do know I need to do, I need to put down a cobweb. I need two more things that I completely forgot to grab. Whoop. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need an attuned stone, but just one of them for some strange reason. And I need a wolf. Now, I have a wolf, obviously, because I prepared earlier and caught it. All right. And uh, so where do I put this stuff? How does this go? The grasper plants go in the corners with an attuned stone on it. Oh, so you just right-click on it. I was wondering if you had to throw it on there or whatever. Then we got the critter snares that go around there. Oh, God, the sounds they make. Those poor little bats. <laughs> and then the wolf has to be in the spider web. Which, hang on, let me get my sprig. Oh, crap, I also had another thought. How do I catch these things when I'm done? Hang on, we can fix this. We can we can do this, we can do this. Uh, crap, I'm completely out of one use safari nets. Um, let's see, I need that, I need that. What else do I need to make safari nets? Safari net? No, apparently... Safari. No. F. There we go. Safari net, single use, string, leather, and slime balls. Well, I have all this stuff. Hopefully that stuff doesn't despawn, though I can't see how it would. Uh, cotton. That'll do me. Yeah, I don't care about you. I get a lot of slimes. I really just don't care anymore. Yes, I could have fun and get, uh, uh, stuff that I can't remember what the hell I was saying. And where are my slimes? One, two, three, four. Boop. All right, so now I have four safari nets, my mutative sprig, and completely full inventory, which I'll clear out later. First things first. Let's make sure that I get this thing working. 
like I should. Bloop, bloop. All right, wolf. So the wolf's there, the sprig is here. So I should just have to do this. And he's got a hat. It's not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? Bastard. I just lost my sprig. Damn it. And I can't just let the wolf go. Well, that didn't work. Um, that's how it's supposed to work. Did I miss anything? Wolf, bat, spider web, critter snails, charged attuned stone. Oh, how does one a charge attuned stones? Because that's just an attuned stone. Don't go away, bats. How does one charge the stones? I might have to look into that. Let's see. Charged attuned stone. An attuned stone that has been charged makes an excellent portable power source to use in Circle Magic Rites. Rites that to charge an attuned stone, one must use the Rite of Charging, which can be found also in the pages of Witchcraft Circle of Magic. <sighs> Let's see. Rite of Charging. Rite of Charging. Boop. Binding. 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 Glyph transformation, binding, binding, charging. Here we go. So I need two layers of uh, uh, circles, which I already have. I need a two stone, glowstone dust, redstone, wood ash, and quick lime. And a tune power of 2,000. Uh, hi, zombie. I have to clean out my inventory real quick. I have so much crap in the spare storage lockers over there. I don't particularly care about losing anything. Well, most things anyways. But I shall gather up the supplies and I will be right back. Alright, that should be everything I need. Glowstone, redstone, um, yeah, wood ash, quick lime, and a a tune stone. So all I should have to do is throw these all into the circle. And activate... Nope, nope, nope. Let's try that again. <sighs> then activate that. Things pop. And... Yay! I get an attuned stone charged! Okay, so there we go. That was the piece I was missing. Was the attuned stone charged. And I am missing... I don't have the mutative sprig anymore because it wore out, which means that I might have to kill. Yeah. Uh, I also, I need nether wart, and I eight, need eight utandis. Nether wart, nether, ooh, yep, right there. Nether wart. Wee, bloop. Eight mutandis, which makes eight utandis extremis which makes the mutating sprig, which hopefully means that I can actually do this now. Put you away. One, two, three. I am one safari net short. Uh, I should have all the stuff I need for a safari net, at least. Hopefully. Leather, four string, and a slime ball, and last safari net. Okay, now I should have everything I need, hopefully. Pop, pop, dirt. Yes, 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 we're almost done, we're almost done. Just keep calm. I'm stuck, there we go. Because I need to put the wolf back where it belongs. All right, let's try this again. Wolf, boop. No. This is not working still. This is completely not working. Why is this not working? What am I doing wrong? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. One last try. And I also learned something interesting while I was fiddling around with this. Um, that mutating sprig that I thought I lost was just in one of the graspers. I must have right-clicked on it at some point. All right, so what I need to do... Um, so we have four critter snares with bats in them. One on, uh, on the sides there, or one on each side. Then we have the graspers in each corner one of which has the charged attuned stone. The other three has Mutandus Extremis. That was my problem. That was, that, that right there was my problem. And then I got an entity mover for the dog because the dog had escaped from the cobweb and got into a corner and I couldn't push it back. All right, so here we go. Let's try this again. Uh, close enough? Close enough, and look, we have owls. Hi, guys. All right, so I'm going to put you guys away. Bloop. There we go. We got our owls. <laughs> All righty. And now what I need to do, we need to tame those owls. And I really need to empty my inventory. So I will once again do a cut. Oh, yeah. And uh, I will empty out my inventory, make it nice and clean and pretty. And I'm back once again with a nice cleaned out inventory and a little bit of disappointing news. Now, I was going to make the owl, at least one of the owls, my familiar. Uh, but to do that, what you got to do is you got to use the Rite of Binding. Okay, so you need a Tear of Goddess. Well, I have that. Odor of Purity, have it. Whiff of Magic, have it. Diamond, have it. Demonic Blood, don't have it. Um, so I looked that up real quick, and to make demonic blood, you need demon heart and diamond vapor. Now, I don't think diamond vapor is all that hard. Oil of vitriol and diamond. Yeah, I can make, you know, diamond vapor easily enough, but the de demon heart, the only way to get the demon heart is to do a deal with the devil, or a demon as the case may be, or at least kill him, uh, and then you get the demonic blood and refined evil, which I gotta get later, um... So, yeah, I can't do that. Uh, so I was like, okay, so I need, uh, you know, uh, summoning, summoning. I'm like, where do I get this guy? Right of infusion, right of banishing, right of summoning. Call forth a demon in the inner area must be clear. Seven. Wait, the inner area must be clear. Seven by seven by four blocks. Uh, okay. Refined evil. Refi wait. Refined evil. I need refined evil to get refined evil. Okay, apparently I'm missing something. Uh, blaze powder, ender pearl, and a villager. Um, and uh, yeah, so all of my villagers are gone. <laughs> I don't know where the hell they went, but all of my villagers are gone. Like every single one of them. Like all, all the ones that were down there. I don't even hear the guy that was in here. All of my villagers are gone. Uh, all but one of my sheep are gone. All but one of my cows are gone. So, yeah. This kind of doesn't work all that well, does it? Um, so, I'm going to have to figure out another way to do that stuff. But I don't have a villager to catch so I can't I have to go hunting for a villager and that can take forever because if I remember from exploring the area I have to travel really far to find a village and God only knows if it's even populated um, and then getting the villager back here is always kind of a pain in the butt though I might be able to do it with this entity mover but I might not uh, yeah, so, plus, 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 there was also the added bonus of, you know, the, the, to bind a tamed owl. I need altar power of 8,000. 8,000. I thought I was doing good with just under 4,000. Apparently not. Ugh. So I have, still have a long way to go before I can have a familiar, but... I can get a tamed owl easily enough. Boop, boop. And then what I need is either raw beef 
or raw pork? I can't find any chicken, so raw beef will do me just fine. Boop. Boop. Yay! I got a pet owl. I have no idea what I can do with it, but I have a pet owl. Does it follow me? It doesn't seem to do crap. Are you coming? Boop. Oh, his little feet move when he sits down. Now will you follow me? Will you teleport? Oh, yep, there you are. Oh, holy crap, you do teleport. Like, if I back off a bit... Oh, he flies too. Oh, that is awesome. Will he fly with me? You would think he would be able to fly with me because there are brooms that you can fly around on. <laughs> I like how he teleports. That is awesome. Pop. There we go. Mr. Owl. How many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. He teleports. That is awesome. Uh, I need something else. Hi, Mr. Owl. What do I need? Do I have what I need? I do. Alrighty. Um, okay, I know where. I was going to say, where the hell do I keep an anvil? <laughs> like, I don't know where I keep an anvil. Do you come inside, Mr. Owl? Oh, nope. Wrong room. Wrong room. It's been so long since I've done anything with my levels, I've forgotten where my stuff is. Boop. Mr. Owl. Yes, you damn right I'm calling him Mr. Owl. You could actually breed owls too, so it's pretty cool. You breed them with uh, raw beef or raw pork chop. Where are you at, Mr. Owl? Come here, Mr. Owl. Where'd you go? Hang on, let me run away real quick. I'm sure you'll come... Popping into existence somewhere along the line. There you are. Oh, hey, hey, come back here. You damn owl. That's cute, though. Boop. Mr. Owl. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is awesome. I have a pet owl. If I could get him to land on a tree, that would be sweet. And then I could just sit him down on the tree. Ooh, or if I could get him to, like, sit on one of those chests. I love this game. Hi, Mr. Owl. Where are you going to sit? Apparently, you're not going to sit anywhere. Okay, there you go. Let's just sit you down right there. That way, you're nice and safe. Hopefully, it doesn't end up like the last cat I had, where I was down mining in a tunnel. The cat showed up and immediately ran into a pool of lava. Yeah, so from me and Mr. Owl, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next one. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. See, Mr. Owl agrees. <laughs>